The TerraFlex All-8 Alpine Flex Arm Kit for the JL Wrangler replaces the factory control arms with adjustable flex arms. Designed to optimize the caster and pinion angles, Alpine Flex Arms can be adjusted to fit any lift kit height up to 4.5 inches. The Alpine IR Flex Arms feature an independent rotation bushing. IR bushings have an inner sleeve that rotates freely, removing bushing bind during suspension compression. Installation for the Alpine Flex Arms and the Alpine IR Flex Arms is the same. Start in the front and support the pinion flange. Place the chocks on the wheels. Remove the plastic retainers connecting the wiring to the upper control arms. The front upper arms have a heat shield on the frame end. Move it out of the way or remove it if you want to. Remove the front lower control arm. Following the guide included in the back of the written instructions, adjust the lengths of the control arms. Keep in mind that the lengths given are meant to be a starting point and will likely be adjusted when you have the alignment done. Once the length is set, install the Alpine arm with the adjustable joint connected to the axle. Remove the upper control arm. Set the Alpine arm to the desired length as per the written instructions. Install it with the fork on the axle. Tighten the hardware on the upper and lower arms. The final tightening will be done at the end of the installation, so just go tight enough to hold things together. Repeat these steps for the driver's side of the vehicle. Reconnect the wiring to the upper control arms. Move to the rear, support the pinion yoke. Remove the lower control arm. Using the starting length given in the written instructions, set the length of the Alpine arm and install it using the factory hardware, with the adjustable joint connected to the axle. Finger tighten the hardware for now. Remove the upper arm, and again set the starting length for the Alpine arm. Install the Alpine arm, again with the adjustable joint, to the axle. Getting the bolt to feed into the flag nut on the frame end can be a little difficult. After the upper and lower arms are installed, tighten the bolts. On the front passenger arm, remove the front axle disconnect skid plate. This allows you to tighten both bolts on the clamps at the same time. Tighten the bolts on the clamps to 30 foot-pounds. Be careful to not over-tighten these bolts. The clamps are made of aluminum and over-tightening can damage them. 
On the rear lower arms, one of the clamp bolts is inaccessible while the arm is connected to the axle. Tighten the accessible clamp bolt and then detach the arm from the axle. Tighten the other clamp bolt before reattaching the joint to the axle. The first bolt can loosen as you tighten the second one, so you may need to go back and forth to make sure they are tightened enough. After you've installed the control arms, it's important to have a professional alignment done. This will ensure the most comfortable ride. The purpose of adjustable Alpine arms is to return the caster to the factory specifications. Final tighten all of the control arms. Use the fork specs given in the factory service manual. For your convenience, we've included them here. 